Hi, we're going to learn more about Eric Erikson Psychosocial Development Theory. Erikson Psychosocial Development Theory. Okay, what is the definitions of the theory? It refers to an individual developed through a series of stages, also known as life conflict, spread over the entire lifespan. Erikson believed people experience conflict that serve as a turning point in development. He also stated there are eight stages of psychosocial development. In the process, the development occurs from infant, toddler, preschooler, grade schooler, teenager, young adult, middle aged adult, and older adult. The conflicts here that we can see here starting from the bottom trust versus mistrust, autonomy versus shame and doubt, initiative versus guilt, industry versus inferiority, identity versus real confusion, intimacy versus isolation, generativity versus stagnations, and last one is integrity versus despair. The conflict also increases in complexity and each stages have their own virtue that the, the person need to develop before they can move on to another stage. So we go to the first one which is trust versus mistrust that occur during birth until one to one and a half years old. So during stage one infancy the because we are completely helpless at this age, we depend on others that is the primary caregiver to care for us and love us. If we receive good care and love, we learn to trust and will generally feel safe and secure in the world. If we don't receive good care and love, we struggle to trust and will feel fearful of the non consistent world. So the major questions here is, can I trust the people around me? So when the primary caregiver, such as parent, they give full attention to the baby during the important event, such as feeding time, the child will feel safe and secure and the baby will develop the basic virtue in this stage, which is hope. Okay, next we move on to Autonomy versus shame and doubt. During toddler, one until three years old. Okay, so during stage two, early childhood, the child, uh, if we successfully complete childhood training, and are allowed to gain more control over food choices and toy preferences. We will develop autonomy and feel more secure and confident. If we fail to gain autonomy in these years, we will feel more shame and doubt of our own ability. So these are the important tasks in psychosocial stage 2 that includes picking out her own clothes and dressing herself, developing food preferences of her own, choosing which toy she likes by herself and lastly is mastering toilet training so the, the child the toddler will gain control and feel more confident and secure and the basic virtue here is that she or he will get is the will okay next we move on to initiative versus guilt uh, occur during four to five years old. In this stage, we learn to assert ourselves in social setting. If we succeed, we will develop initiative and feel more capable. If we fail, we'll be left with more guilt and self self doubt. So the major questions here we can see that am I good or bad? So we the the child 
will determine which is which path or route that he or she going to take. So during the important events such as exploration and play where they are exposed to social setting, they have to take the initiative to do the right thing and the basic virtue here is that they can obtain here is purpose. Okay, next is industry versus inferiority. Occur during six to five years old. So during at this stage, the child will start going to school, and their world expand from just their parents or their caregiver to their friends. So. If we are encouraged to improve our ability and if our accomplishments are commended, we are likely to develop a sense of confidence. If we are discouraged or humiliated by parents, teachers and peers, we are more likely to doubt our abilities. So here the children we have two choices. Either they become more industrious or hardworking when they get complimented doing something good or they will feel s down they will feel unmotivated because whatever they do they are most likely to doubt their own decisions if they are able to gain to gain the self confidence here is the basic virtue here is we can they can get is competence The important event here is we can see here is the classroom where the children is actively participating in the activity. Okay, next is identity versus role confusions occur during twelve to eighteen years old. So stage five is adolescence. In our teenage age we can receive affirmations of our ideal values and sense of self or we can receive various form of decisions and rejection so for those who have their own self positively and reinforced develop stronger feelings of independence and control those who don't receive positive reinforcement and up with more insecurity and remain confused about themselves and their future so during at this stage it is better that they know what they want to be they need to know what is their identity and when they got supported by their parents by their friends they will feel more uh, they will have more stronger feeling of independence and control so here the teenager will the will get the basic virtue of fidelity means that they are consistent with what they want so next is I intimacy versus isolation that occur during young adults 16 to 40 years old if we develop close committed relationship in our early adulthood we most likely to be enduring and secure because each stage of development builds upon the others the ability to form strong relationship is closely related to whether or not we develop a strong sense of self in our teen years so for those who without a strong self or sense of self are more likely to have less committed relationship with and suffer isolation and loneliness but if they are able to secure the committed relationship they will get the basic virtue of love the important event as mentioned earlier is the romantic relationship okay so for seven stage is generativity versus technicians that occur during 40 to 60 years old so this is the time that we call adulthood where um, 
they have uh, committed in their romantic relationship and now they move on to the next stage which is if we succeed in building a good and productive life we're likely to feel that we're contributing to the world if we fail to build a good and productive life we're likely to feel uninvolved in the world so for the major questions here huh, how can i contribute to the world and this important event here involved is parenthood and work the basic virtue here is the get the care they are caring to others so for the last stage is integrity versus despair uh, age develop is from 60 years old until death in our later years we tend to look back on life reflecting on what we have been through if we can develop a strong sense of uh, pride in our accomplishment we're most likely to feel satisfied mm, but if we fail to develop this pride we're likely to feel our life has been wasted so for the major questions uh, during maturity is did i live a meaningful life so he or she will look back we will be reflecting back on life from their young young ages and so the basic virtue here is that they can get is wisdom there are criticism and support for this every Erickson psychosocial theory so first we move to the criticism there are those who say that the exact mechanism for resolving conflict and moving from that stage from one stage to the next are not well described or developed uh, they said they do, do not know what is the exactly the turning point they just know the event what would happen at that stage so we can say that it's not really fully detailed uh, f for the second one is the f uh, it failed to detail exactly what type of experiences are necessary at each stage in order to successfully resolve the conflict and move to the next stage because uh, we s as we know that we go through this development from birth until death it will move on either we want it or not because we cannot stop it and so they said that it failed to detect exactly what type of experiences and here I can say that maybe your experiences is not the same with my experiences so at that time we know what is the best okay so those are the criticism okay now we move on to the support which is the theory provides a broad framework from which to view development throughout the entire lifespan so this serves as a guide so that we know if w uh, for example during the infancy the baby need a consistent of s and secure support from the primary caregiver such as parent to feel safe because if they do not get what they need at that time they will feel more likely uh, likely that their world is full of fear they will not get what they want okay. so this serves as a guide or framework from which to view next is uh, it allow us to emphasize the social nature of human being and the important influence that social relationships have on development so we know now each stages the social nature of human being and the important influence that social relationships have meaning that the environment around us what kind of relationship we have with our parents with our friends with our co-workers and also during the situations okay next is how this theory makes us a better teacher 
So here we can see in s during stage 3, initiative versus guilt, where the children is starting to learn to make choices and act upon their choices. So here we can determine whether a child learned to plan activity on her own or come to associate self-directed behavior with punishment. She must have the opportunity to make decisions. Example of activity that we can see here is have a classroom cl library where children can pick their own books during reading time. So here we can say that give children room where they can make their own decision. Oh, I want to take this book. This looks fun. I will read this book. Okay, next is stage four, industry versus inferiority. It allows students the opportunity to set realistic goals. So they have the goal, the objective. So have them create academic and personal goal for each quarter and revisit those goals every few weeks to monitor their own progress. When they have a goal and they wanted to achieve that goal or objective, they need to know what they have to do. So this time they have to be hard working to get the goal become reality. So example of activity here is assign jobs to the student. So the student will be more responsible towards their job and more likely will be industrious. Okay, now last one is uh, during stage 5, identity versus confusions. So this is during the young teenagers or adolescents. So teachers should provide a variety of positive role models for students. It provides opportunity for students to bring their own interest into projects and assessment. Allow teachers should allow students to choose between a variety of final projects that appeal to their interests or explore a new aspect of their identity. So, for example, teachers should give a variety of options to students to choose which suit their interests. An uh, example of activity is to teach students about women and minority who succeeded at a variety of career. So, all students have a role model to whom they can relate. And that's all from me. Thank you.